have a secret. It's like picking a favorite child, but I have a favorite opt-in I've created and I've made about 60 since 2016. Hands down, it's my quiz opt-in. And it's not just because it gets the most leads organically, which it does, but because it was the most fun to engineer and creatively build. You're about to hear exactly what it takes to create a quiz opt-in for your own email list. It's gonna showcase your brand voice, your personality, and serve as a killer top of funnel entry point for your people. Let's go. Hey there, if we haven't met, my name's Ashlyn Carter. I'm a conversion copywriter and brand and launch strategist for creative entrepreneurs like you. And at long last, I listened to the requests and I'm creating this video on how to make a quiz opt-in. Hit like if you love a good quiz. I know that from my 17 magazine fuzzy pin days, I have always loved one. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button and the bell next to it. I pump out videos like this every single week. That's how you are going to be in the loop when the next one drops. So let me lay the ground by giving you a quick case study behind this lead magnet, this quiz, and how it's worked. As a conversion copywriter, I had helped build the back of funnel off of so many clients' quizzes from Elizabeth Ryder to Jenna Kutcher and architecting the back end of it so many times, eventually I was like, I want to get in on this myself and build my own quiz, see what it's like. I launched it in 2018. It was roughly called How to Find Your Brand Voice Vibe. I've since expanded it and I'll talk about that in a minute. Since inception though, it's garnered leads and this is with no paid traffic. So I should do it. I've just never run ads directly to this quiz before. And the only way that I've really pushed it out is through things like Pinterest and social media. But even so, it's garnered more than 18,800 leads. Proof people love a good quiz. As I'm digging in, here are three ways to know if creating an opt-in quiz is right for you. Number one, I'm a real, pardon my French, but mm, or get off the pot type person. If you don't like the way I talk, or consequently the way I write, my personality, or how I teach, that's fine. I just want you to quickly then know that and be on your way. No harm, no foul. If that's you, quizzes are great because they let you interject your style along the way. There's a few more hoops to jump through so people can start to discern and decide a little bit more if they continue to like what you're putting down. Have you ever signed up for a freebie or something before and then immediately just known you wanted the thing, you didn't really care about the person at all? I know I have and again, I like quizzes because they do make the user jump through a couple of more hoops. You have to answer these questions. You have to input your email address at the end. So they really do have a little bit more time to decide if they like your style or not. Number two, they're for you if you're willing to dig in and actually help people self-select a style or get them the tools that they need. Because quiz creation takes some time. But we naturally love diagnosing ourselves and studying our personalities, like almost ad nauseum. A quiz taps into that part of human psychology. A psychotherapist said it well when she said that we are constantly trying to balance between individuality and tribalism and a personality test satisfies both ends of the continuum. And number three, they're a good fit for you if you wanna collect a little bit more data or insight about your customers clients, subscribers, so you can serve them better. One of the best parts of a quiz is that you get to go in and tag certain answers to say specific things about that reader or user. Where they are in business, what type of business they have, whatever. There are two questions in my quiz that don't even correlate to the ultimate answers and archetypes. I'm gonna talk about those in a minute, but they're truly just there to help give me some insight and data into those people so I can serve them better down the road by getting them content that is actually useful for them. Go ahead and comment Comment below if you've taken my quiz before with what type you are. I would love to know if we have the same results. And let's get into it. Here are four steps to actually building your quiz. So I'm gonna show you how to do this in Interact. And I researched a lot of different tools as I was trying to figure out where I wanted to build mine. I have found Interact so great. I've used them from the beginning and have not switched. You can look down below for some information and a deal with them. Okay, number one, the first thing that you want to do as you create your quiz is go ahead and decide the archetypes or the answers that your quiz will be funneling and channeling into. So start with the end in mind and go back to what you actually want your quiz to find out. Basically you're reverse engineering the quiz and I want you to start with the end in mind. So start back whether it is three different answers that you'll have or four. I would recommend somewhere around that because the more you have, the more complicated it gets to write the quiz answer and question copy. Maybe it is their tier in business. Maybe it's something about their habits or what drives them. 
I would say too, don't stress yourself out. It can be something fun. It doesn't have to necessarily be something that you put a lot of uh, research into. It could just be like this tonic quiz where it's what's your brand cocktail. There's a million ideas that you could do here. What I wanted to do in my quiz is showcase the four different uh, buying and selling patterns. Since most people tend to sell like they like to buy and I help people with sales copy, um, that's the angle that I wanted to go with with my quiz and then from that I researched and tried to figure out what type of personality and voice vibe that person would have, that archetype. And there's four archetypes to my quiz. Again, that's why I think it's a great number. It was hard, but it wasn't too hard. Number two, based off of the archetypes that your quiz is leading into, you can now start to draft the copy for the questions. Let me turn the camera around and show you that process. This is for sure the tool that I would recommend you start with, um, basically because of all of these templates. So I clicked create new template after I got logged in and my account set up. And there's so many different types that you can scroll through over here. I've got them all pulled up. Um, but what I like is these templates come ready-made. So if you see any ideas here that you like to get started with, um, that would help. I would actually recommend, besides seeing that there is this headline copy, subheadline copy, and the call to action copy needed, we know we're gonna need the quiz answers, right? So sometimes it's most helpful for me in the creative process to come over and just start on my own and then fill them in instead of being hooked off of a template. Um, just to kind of get my ideas out on one place and then install them and use the template to help guide that. So again, I, I would recommend that you reverse engineer the process. So I'm gonna come over to um, this Google Doc where I have just created um, some quizzes, some quiz questions, and I'm gonna type up the question thoughts that I would have, and then I'm gonna go in and pull um, the answers. That's the next step, but I at least want you to start with these questions and thinking through these. If you need some support on coming up with questions, I would highly recommend to going to BuzzFeed and just clicking through some of their quizzes. Um, they've got a million, bajillion different types of quizzes and those can help give you some ideas. And then you'll wanna go through and draft um, just this is, like two-year-old copy, three-year-old copy at this point. Um, but I was trying to get some ideas out there and um, just brainstorm before I went in and worked inside one of the templates. So that's what I would recommend. So step one, you want to create some kind of a Google Doc, um, whatever documentation you use to write, and just write out some question concepts. This is where your voice or your style is so very important. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I want my quiz and really anything in my business to be so Ashlyn in the voice that people can decide very quickly if they like it or not. Number three, after you get your question copy typed, and I would recommend somewhere between 10 or less. Now you want to come up with the answers that correlate with each archetype. Pro tip here, make sure that the answers, especially if you're trying to do more of a serious quiz that diagnoses people and helps them understand something, make sure that it's undisputable what each answer will be towards. So they're um, kind of polarizing in what they say. That is kind of a risk that you're taking because obviously uh, people have to really decide between these and they don't have any room for variance. But a little trick you can do here is add some supporting copy that helps them understand this. This is probably all easier if I just show you. So again, let me turn the camera around. The process, but like I said, I just wanted to show you an example of the copy done where you add a little bit more description of like kind of helping guide and steer your prospect uh, into the right category. So you can see these answers. Do you see how there's like secondary copy um, after I'm just asking them to bring back a show and I could have just stopped it, but that doesn't necessarily help um, correlate to the answers that I'm trying to get. So I give a little bit more copy to flesh out um, why they, and I think everybody's taken a quiz where they realize this. Um, and there's a little bit more copy so because we are trying to direct them to the right answer. So this is kind of explanatory copy. I would recommend doing that if your answer could be kind of fuzzy or um, not necessarily uh, put them on the right path to getting the result that you're trying to help them get. Number four, now you wanna go into a tool like Interact and paste in the copy that you've written for both the questions and all of the answers. And that's it. From here, you can get ready to publish it and set it out in the world. Let me show you how to do it. Quiz, copy, questions, uh, and answers drafted. So what I'm gonna do now is come back in and let's go ahead and click, uh, we'll use this template uh, we could preview it, but it might as well give us somewhere to get started with. So what I'm going to do after this loads in, this is going to be the interface that you will work inside to actually implement your copy. Obviously, you can update uh, your brand colors here, even your font style, which is lovely. And we're just going to begin adding the questions. So they give you some wonderful, again, this it's just so helpful. I had mentioned BuzzFeed, why reinvent the wheel, uh, but they give you some, this is a, that would be really fun too. Um, you can add imagery 
in, which is super fun, um, or just give the answers. But what we want to do is just go in question by question um, and fill in the copy. So you would copy and paste uh, whatever a copy that you have from your document and the answers. And then what we're going to do here is update the result correlation and answer settings. Um, so let's, and I'll show you too, if you click that, um, use image answers versus use text answers. So you can give them the opportunity to select multiple answers. I would just recommend um, one, like one answer per question. So what is most helpful, again, if we reverse engineer the process, is to come into, after you copy and paste the question and the answer copy in, come down to results and go ahead and you've picked, like I said at the beginning, three to four different types here. Um, and I would just insert the copy, the result copy that you want them to have and so on and so forth. So you've got your four archetypes in and then we're going to come back up to questions and edit the result correlation. So all you do, you want to say like this minimalist style goes to modern. Um, see how they give examples of this and you can change them around um, and move them. So you are just going to make sure that you have Let's see how to do that. Drag them. Oh, I guess these are already in because this is the template. So if you're building from scratch, um, you would select them or set them step by step. But can you see then you don't have that thing that we always ran into with like 17 Magazine growing up where it says mostly A's, X, Y, Z, mostly B's. Um, you can confuse a little bit more and that is um, a better quiz experience in my opinion. So after we get all that ready, we are going to go ahead and publish it. And you can click publish up here um, and it's going to give you all of the information to go ahead and begin sharing it with your audience in the hyperlink. And if you want to embed it, you can do that as well. I know I am a broken record, but I so firmly believe in the value of stewardship of both your time and your story. A quiz has been a great opt-in for me because like I said, I created it two years ago and it's still bringing in leads. And that is the kind of thing that I want to build in my business, something that is not trendy and can stand the test of time. So I would challenge you to do that with the quiz. I think they're going nowhere fast. They have been for the past few years, so you might as well go ahead and build one out. But when you're doing it, make sure that you're building it in a way that communicates your brand voice and story and style. By doing that, you're going to be able to attract and repel the right people, collect some intel about them so you can better serve them later, all while getting them a killer assessment or tool or just a break from life. For just just a few minutes through that quiz. Don't forget to grab your seat in my free workshop where I talk all about writing copy that is personality packed just like this. Look down below or head to awcopyclass.com to grab your seat in my free masterclass. Now you know how to build your quiz opt-in, but what about the engine at the bottom of it that's driving all of your messaging, your website? I've got a video teed up for you next where I talk all about how to pick out the perfect design template for your website. I'll see you there. If you liked this video, let me know by hitting that like button, subscribing, and commenting with any of your takeaways or more questions that you have. As always, thanks for watching.